Eating foods rich in liver healthy vitamins can help prevent certain liver diseases, such as fatty liver disease. Check out this video on PARS Health TV to learn which vitamins support liver health and find nutritious foods for a healthy liver diet. Number 4. Vitamin E. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble, powerful chain-breaking antioxidant in humans, with the most substantial evidence in treating liver disease. Vitamin E is able to reduce oxidative stress and slow down the pathogenesis of NASH. The American Association for the Study of Liver Diseases ALD, and the European Association for the Study of Liver Diseases EASL, recommend its use. Vitamin E in non-diabetic adults with biopsy-proven NASH, 800 IU slash day. Although there is no standard regimen for treating NAFLD slash NASH, vitamin E supplementation is commonly prescribed for patients with NAFLD. Individuals with NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and NASH, a kind of NASH called non-alcoholic hepatitis, have lower blood levels of vitamin E due to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is a harmful imbalance in the body that occurs when you don't have enough antioxidants to neutralize other molecules named free radicals. It damages cells and can be caused by alcohol, drugs, and other factors. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that helps balance antioxidants and free radicals. Additionally, a 2018 study found that patients who received vitamin E treatment for 96 weeks had less inflammation and fat in their livers, as well as less liver cell death. Foods that are rich in vitamin E, salmon, spinach, avocado, mango, and almonds. Number 3. Vitamin D. Vitamin D aids in preventing inflammatory and metabolic liver diseases. According to an article published by Livestrong, a 2019 study found that 92% of 118 people with chronic liver disease were vitamin D deficient. People with the lowest vitamin D levels were more likely to develop cirrhosis, which is permanent liver scarring. Vitamin D, known as the sunshine vitamin, allows your body to absorb calcium, which is vital for strong bones. A complication of chronic liver disease is osteoporosis. This condition causes bones to weaken, making patients more prone to fractures. Not getting enough vitamin D can make this complication worse. Additionally, a 2019 study found that vitamin D deficiency may be associated with hepatitis B, HBV, a virus that affects the liver. In 55% of NAFLD patients, vitamin D deficiency is present. Several experimental models have suggested vitamin D as a modulator of insulin sensitivity. Epidemiological data report an association between vitamin D levels and obesity, T2D, and IR. IR is a well-known precursor and accelerator of NAFLD and is considered a hallmark of diseases associated with oxidative stress and lipotoxicity development. Vitamin D deficiency has been reported to affect insulin secretion in animal and human models. Vitamin D plays an active role in modulating pancreatic beta cell function and directly stimulates pancreatic insulin secretion through the presence of VDR and the expression of 1-alpha hydroxylase in pancreatic beta cells. Insulin secretion is a calcium-dependent process, and changes in calcium flux can negatively affect pancreatic beta cell secretion. Vitamin D deficient hypocalcemic rats have lower glucose-stimulated insulin secretion without correction of hypocalcemia. Thus, vitamin D deficiency may contribute to both IR and NAFL. Foods that are high in vitamin D, tuna, egg yolks, certain mushrooms, fortified milk, and natural orange juice. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell button to get some interesting stuff and upcoming videos. Number 2. Vitamin C. The effects of oxidative stress and inflammation are well documented in the development of NAFLD, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. ROS generation leads to peroxidation inflammation and HSC activation leading to fibrosis. Oxidative stress accelerates IR and inflammation in hepatocytes, the main mechanisms leading to dyslipidemia. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid, is a powerful antioxidant that benefits human health by scavenging free radicals. Vitamin C reduced mitochondrial ROS generation and enhanced manganese sod and glutathione peroxidase GPX, activity in isolated rat liver mitochondria. Therefore, vitamin C treatment may reduce hepatic oxidative stress. It was also inversely correlated with inflammatory markers, C-reactive protein, CRP, and myeloperoxidase. 
ascorbic acid has been proposed to modulate adiponectin, thereby reducing hepatic lipid accumulation, systemic IR, and inflammation and protecting against NAFL. In addition, ascorbic acid supplementation inhibited hepatic steatosis and stress by increasing mRNA levels of per-alpha-dependent fatty acid beta-oxidation genes in the liver, which activated the FGF21-FGFR2-adiponectin pathway. Like vitamin E, vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps neutralize other molecules called free radicals. Not having enough antioxidants can create an imbalance called oxidative stress, which can damage cells and lead to liver disease. In addition, vitamin C helps prevent fat accumulation in the liver, which can cause fatty liver disease. Foods that contain vitamin C, oranges, strawberries, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, and potatoes. Number 1. B Vitamins. The B vitamin complex includes 8 compounds, like thiamine, B1, riboflavin, B2, niacin, B3, pantothenic acid, B5, pyridoxine, B6, biotin, B7, folic acid, B9, and cyanocobalamin, B12. Vitamin B3, also called niacin, is a precursor of the coenzymes nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD, and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate, NADF, which play a crucial role in lipid metabolism. It is used to treat dyslipidemia and cardiovascular disease. Vitamin B3 supplementation increases redox potential, reduces hepatic cholesterol content, and prevents liver weight gain in an obese diet-induced rat model of NAFL. A protective effect against pre-existing hepatic steatosis was also observed, demonstrating the therapeutic potential of vitamin B3 in NAFL. Human hepatoblastoma cells treated with nicotinic acid showed a 40-60% to reduction in hepatic lipid accumulation, possibly through inhibition of diglyceride acyltransferase 2 and nadfoxidase. Dyslipidemic patients treated with niacin had reduced plasma triglycerides and liver fat and improved liver enzymes. However, in a randomized controlled trial of 27 obese patients with NAFLD, niacin therapy failed to reduce hepatic fat deposition despite lower serum triglyceride and VLDL levels and improved insulin sensitivity. Some studies suggest that long-term niacin supplementation may cause insulin resistance. Because insulin resistance has been implicated in the pathogenesis of NAFLD, and patients with NAFLD have decreased insulin sensitivity. However, niacin reduces the hepatic fat content. Eating enough foods that contain B vitamins can help prevent many symptoms of early liver disease. In particular, liver disease can cause vitamin B1, B6, and B12 deficiencies. A severe deficiency of vitamin B1 can lead to impaired mental abilities such as coordination and memory. A lack of vitamin B6 can cause tingling and numbness due to nerve damage. In contrast, a deficiency of vitamin B12 can cause anemia, a condition in which a person has fewer red blood cells than usual. In addition, similar symptoms arise from vitamin B1 and B6 insufficiency. About 90% of vitamin B12 is kept in the liver. When the liver is damaged, vitamin B12 levels decrease. Foods that contain B vitamins, chicken, soybeans, green leafy vegetables, bananas, and macadamia nuts. Share your ideas and experiences about fatty liver disease in the comment section below. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. And please share our videos with your friends to support our team. Thank you, guys, for tuning in.